Hello and welcome. Um, today what we're going to do is we are going to take all the songs in your iPod, or any iPod for that matter, and put them on your computer and have iTunes organize it for you, because it's actually encoded on uh, your iPod. So if you reformatted your computer, you know, you deleted all your files, or you just don't have any backup of it, um, or you want to transfer it to a new computer without, and you don't have a portable hard drive, I guess, um, this is what you can do. So what we do first is, of course, plug in your iPod. Um, and as soon as your iPod's plugged in, you're going to go ahead and look for it. So start my computer, and my iPod is right there, Morgan Sean. so I go ahead and double-click that. And now that we're in your iPod, all this stuff right here is uh, everything that's on there. And you're probably wondering where your music is. So the way you can actually look at your music is you go to Tools, Folder Options. Uh, now we're in Folder Options, you go to the Top View uh, tab, and you go down to where it says hidden files and folders and you want to have the bubble clicked for show hidden files and folders so it should look like this right right there cool so now you hit apply okay and now you can see there's a uh, hidden folder it's transparent it says iPod control so you go into that and then what happens after that is you go to this little folder here also hidden that says music and now you see a bunch of folders, F00 through whatever, depending on how much music you have in your iPod. Um, I have 49 folders. And you have all these folders right here. So this is actually all your music. When you go into it, you can see it's akmi.mp3. This is just how it's encoded. So all of your information is actually on these files still, but they won't display right unless you have iTunes uh, do it for you. So you go back. And you go to your desktop, actually. So go to your desktop and create a new folder. So go New, Folder, and we'll just call this one uh, Music. And what you're going to do is you're going to Edit, Select All, or Control A, and you're going to take every single one of these folders right here and transfer it into your music right there. <laughs> so that's going to take a long time because it's USB. So go ahead and do that, and uh, probably pause the video at this point, and then when it's done, continue. So let's. I'm, for the sake of time, I'm just going to transfer one of the uh, folders, and I'm not even going to transfer the whole thing. Um, so I take this right here, and I put it in music, and it's going to take a while. You know, we'll wait for a few MP3s to go in there, and then I'll just cancel it and continue. Um, so cancel, and I go into the music, and it's right there. So now that we have, well, you should have all of your folders full of music on your computer. You can go ahead and uh, exit out of your controls over here for your iPod. Um, and you can unplug your iPod at this time if you wish. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select all of the hidden files, or excuse me, hidden folders on your computer. And right click them, go to properties. And what you want to do is you want to make it so this hidden thing right here that's checked is actually unchecked. So go ahead and uncheck the hidden, hit apply, and it's going to ask you if you want to apply it to all your subfolders and files. So go ahead and do that, that's fine. So hit OK, OK, and now it's no longer transparent, it's no longer hidden. So uh, iTunes will recognize it when you want to add it. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is minimize this. I'm going to go ahead and open iTunes. And what you want to do here is you actually want to go to Edit, Preferences. Um, now in the tabs at the top, you want to go all the way to the right to Advanced. Now what you want to do is you want to actually make sure that your thing looks like this. So it should say, uh, keep my iTunes folder organized right here. Um, and this should be your iTunes music folder location. This is the default on all Windows XP, to my knowledge. Um, Vista, again, is something very similar. It will be in My Documents, My Music, iTunes, and iTunes Music. So keep that in mind, and what we're actually going to do, now that this is for sure checked, and you have the location here, is you're going to exit out, or go ahead and press OK, I guess. Um, minimize iTunes, and you're going to go to your documents, however you get there, uh, start, computer, whatever, maybe it's on your desktop. So you're going to go to that path. So My Music, iTunes, iTunes Music, and there's nothing in here. So the first thing that you're going to do is open up your uh, music folder right here with all your music in it. You're going to take your folders and just go ahead and put all of them in there. 
And again, for the sake of time, I'm only doing one folder at the moment. Um, so once that folder's in there, you can go ahead and X that out. And you can go ahead and just get rid of that music folder on your desktop. Delete that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to File in iTunes, Add Folder to Library. So what you're looking for is this specific area right here. So where, you know, you're in my documents, it'll say, you know, my music, iTunes, iTunes music, etc. So once you're in there, you know, these are all your files. So you want to actually add this iTunes music folder right here. Um, and you hit OK. And then what will happen is, as you can see up here, it's processing album work and all these other things. Um, it actually took all those encoded files, added them to your iTunes with all their original information, and when you go back to your uh, iTunes folder, you know, the one that you put your uh, encoded files in, it will actually now be organized with however many artists you have. So I only had six artists within that one folder. Um, if you have, you know, between 20 and 50 folders, you will surely have many more artists than that. Um, and then you can just sit back and celebrate. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And uh, again, I just want to emphasize that this will work for virtually any iPod. I myself am using a sixth generation iPod Classic for this demonstration. I have a second generation shuffle that I've tested this for, and it works perfectly fine. Um, iPod touches it should work exactly the same. And uh, you just got to make sure it goes into that one file so it's organized. So, yeah, do it with as many iPods as you want, but be responsible. Thanks for watching.